happened was um, we were digging out basements. Umbreen and I got together, we said, we have to do something. It could have been us, it could have been anybody. We were so fortunate that it wasn't our home. And so we said, let's go do something. So we did a couple basements. And then we said, let's collect a little money. Okay, so we collected a couple hundred dollars. And we were gonna buy towels and personal hygiene stuff because everybody lost everything. That turned into a few thousand dollars. And so we reached out to Angela, who is familiar with this community, and said, can you help us find families? Then Penny was one of our first five families, and we met Penny. We went and delivered stuff, and we met her. We just said, gosh, I wish there was something more we could do. And I said, you know, my husband has a lot of clients, and he has a lot of builders that are clients. You know, there's this guy, Dave Dennis, and he sounds like an honorable guy. He sounds like, you know, a good person. I wonder if he would if he would be interested in doing that. So when we got to lunch, we mentioned it to Angela, and it was kind of like pie in the sky, right? How is this, <laughs> who's gonna really do this? Never would I have imagined that De Dave Dennis would say yes when we asked him to build a, a home for free. I mean, that in our wildest dreams, I never could have dreamed that he would do that. And then even when he said yes, just the fact that he treated her like a paying customer, he let her pick out whatever she wanted. And Dave said yes, right away. On Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. We and met Sunday and on Tuesday we... Yeah, yeah. So that's really how it how it started. Yeah. Uh, with just a, a, a glimmer of hope and a, a, an idea. It just shows you what happens when good people come together to do something good, you know, and people helping people. Um, it was less than a three month build, 90 days, you know, we from the time we started demo, it might have even been less than that. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun seeing everybody come together, um, all the different people, um, both from my team, from outside my team. Uh, you know, we've had the you know the Interfaith and Midland, the Islamic Center, the Sarmiento Dream Team, Berkshire Hathaway, as well as all of my subcontractors contributing. It's been a great a great project, and I, I've had a ball doing it. Well, we're going to give her a new home. We're going to rebuild her home from the ground up. Um, she lost her home in the flood. It was severely damaged and it's been condemned. Um, knocked off the foundation and she's currently um, living in a camper on her property. I don't know what I'm going to do. I take it one day at a time. I know they're going to take it down, but I don't know if I can get another house up or not. She found out later that her house was condemned because the, the rush of water uh, knocked it off of the structure. Um, it's hard to tell from looking at the outside, but then after that she was told by the building inspector that the house would be more expensive to fix than it would be to tear down. And then on top of that, Penny relies on her community, the neighbors are her friends. She's lived here since she was three, and many of them have lived here over 30 years. So they, they help her because she can't drive and she has some disabilities from a car accident. So they take her to her doctor's appointment. So she doesn't have local family to take care of her, so she's not only facing loss of her home, but she's losing her community if she has to move. She's got a lot going on, and uh, I think this is really gonna help her out. We have a lot of people here who are interested in your story, don't we? Yeah, we do. We do. Wow. There's somebody that I want to introduce to you. This is Dave Dennis. Nice to meet you. Rough year this year, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just looking Just around, you can see <laughs> the devastation around here. And right. Not a lot of good news no, coming no. out with COVID and then the floods and everything yeah, on else. on top of it all, right, and then COVID. And right. Cool. Well, um, my name's Dave, and I own a building company in Freeland, Michigan. And I've got finally some good news for you. We are going to build you a brand new house from the ground up at no charge at all. Are you really? Yep. And you'll be in before it gets too cold out. We can't have you living in a camper are you okay? with your neat little dog. Oh, thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, that is great. You know, Great Lakes Homes has been growing tremendously. We've had a couple of really great years and it's really good to do well, but it's even better um, when you're doing well to do good. It's gonna be 
uh, two by four construction, drywall, um, probably recessed lighting, hardwood floors, you know, everything he puts in a Great Lakes home. And now we're starting again, we're building, you know, all the way from the ground up. Uh, it's gonna be a new house for Penny, um, something she can enjoy the rest of her life in. Any time that anybody can contribute to any community, it works out good for everyone. Well, they're tearing my house down of 55 years and um, getting ready to put up the new house. Well, it, it's kind of sad and it's exciting, so it's a little both. All I've done is knock down the house, got into a pile, which I'm getting ready to load into a dumpster. By the end of the day, we'll have all this in the dumpster. Um, and then we're also going to get all the black dirt scraped back and we're going to dig out for the new footings for the new foundation. So hopefully tomorrow we're in here setting up the footings and maybe pouring those and setting up the foundation here by the end of the week. It went quick, didn't it? He said 15 minutes. I think it only lasted like eight minutes maybe. This whole project's not just Great Lakes Homes. There's a, just a ton of people behind the scenes that are really um, putting in um, labor, material, supplies, a lot of, a lot of stuff. And Craig Gushaw, who Gushaw Excavating is the first of many that will be here on this project. He did donate um, all his time to come and do the demo, um, as well as dig out the excavation and then rehook up our septic system that we have in here. Feels good, you know, it's, uh, um, nobody can help everybody, but um, everybody can help someone. And that's what, that's what Dave is doing here, and uh, I'm, I'm glad to be part of it, you know. I think at the center of everyone and everything is love. I think sometimes uh, it gets masked or, or things get piled on and people forget. And I think it takes a natural disaster or, um, or devastation for that to come out, really. Um, everybody has love. And I, and I think this symbolizes hope for Sanford, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Right? Bigger and better things are going to happen in yeah. Sanford. This is just the beginning. I yeah. mean, I know some of the businesses are starting to rebuild now and stuff. So, so hopefully this, this represents hope for all of Sanford. We started looking at, okay, how can we really do something big for this person and, and help her out? And this is really what we came up with. Again, it's line of sight and a lot of people can, you know, get caught back up in their own lives and really forget that these people are still living in it, although the water is gone now. The volunteers that have come and just just poured it out 100% um, on what needed to be done, where us helpless people were standing here just going, you know, we, we didn't know what to do. We'll be at Penny's disposal throughout the whole transaction. Dave has a, uh, he has a showroom on uh, Main Street in Freeland. And so we have cabinets there, we have countertops, we've got flooring, we've got tile, we've got everything that Penny can come in and, and uh, make some choices if she needs help, we're there. Um, there's just really nice uh, paint colors now and I think she's gonna have fun. I mean, she's been here her whole life. She's gonna get something brand new. I think that's amazing. Kinda wanted it the same color because this house was a landmark. Everybody knew the little red log cabin by the marathon. Dave's going to build the same quality house he's going to he's would build for his paying clients, you know. I mean, everything he puts in a Great Lakes home. Fresh new start, a brand new house. Thanks to Dave Dennis. I was there when uh, the idea was brought to him and he jumped right on it. It's true when he says that we've all been blessed and it's time for us and him to give back and he's very generous. I've watched him be generous and this is just a perfect example. He's a great guy. This is just about stability and permanency and knowing that she can stay in her neighborhood. I mean, she, she made an insurance claim. She was denied. She's waiting um, for FEMA to come through. But... And it's not going to be enough money to rebuild, for sure. And her limited income, what is she going to do? So when we looked at the neighborhood and, and who we could help, she seemed to be the best fit. We've discussed this with the uh, local building inspector, found out, you know, want to make sure this was a doable thing, for one thing. Um, that uh, th this house could be rebuilt on this property. Unfortunately, I think so many people right now are in the situation where even if they wanted to rebuild, they can't. Pouring the foundation for uh, this house that Dave's uh, donating, so he gave us the opportunity to uh, help out. And I didn't hesitate. <laughs> She's watching us work, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice. When I mentioned it, it didn't take him two seconds to say, of course we'll do that. Trying to go fast, it's gonna get start getting cold before we know it here. It's great that he's helping someone else out, you know, with all the everything that happened around here, people losing a lot of things, you know. 
it was, it's nice for him to get back. The hope is, it's here. <laughs> so that's oh. why you do it. If you can, somebody oh can say you're the God. hope. There's my hope right there. I thought if anybody should be involved in it, it should be Josh, Francis, and his guys. You know, they do all of my roofing, and every once in a while they do fill in and do some framing for me as well. Well, I texted her today, and I said, and I heard the framing's going up today, and she responded, and she said, it's already up. When I arrived today to pick her up, she was so excited because all, all four walls are up right now. So it's really fun when you drive in the neighborhood and you see the four walls up on the house. It really brings perspective, right? And we're all a community. We're a mid-Michigan community, Sanford, Midland, Freeland, Hemlock, you can go on and on. And we're all connected. And uh, so it feels great to, to, to help Penny out. And you know, it's a privilege to build a house for any of our customers, and it's a privilege to build Penny's as well. Today, basically what we're trying to do is let Penny pick out her kitchen, uh, paint colors, things like that, flooring. Angie Cole is who come and got me. We were just kind of laughing and giggling on the way here. I went and picked up Penny at her house and she was really excited. And we came here, we just arrived at Great Lakes Homes to, for Penny to pick out the interior of her home. She's gonna get to pick out the color of her cabinets and her walls and her, and her countertops, things like that. I was getting excited about picking the colors and I did, really didn't have any idea until I got in here what it was gonna be. You never know what it is that you want until you can see your colors, your door styles, and then when they're in front of you, often it's overwhelming. I thought I was gonna be so confused I wouldn't know what to pick from what, you know? But they, the way they showed me, it, it was very easy. I have to really thank Carter Lumber, um, Jenny Lentner, and also Kemper Cabinets because they are um, fronting a lot of the cost of these cabinets to go in. It sounded like she had the ideas of grays and browns, so I showed her a couple door styles and colors that were in that gray and brown category um, that she might like, and she picked out a gray paint. Wood floor in, and they're gonna do the tile in the bathroom in the utility room, and there'll be carpet in the bedroom. Being able to show them the 3D renderings or visuals works out a lot better for everybody to kind of visualize that and have an idea of what they've got in mind and what they're going to be getting. I mean, I think we're all like, oh, wow, a free house, and I, I don't think anyone expected that she was going to be able to pick out her colors, um, not only from the outside, but also the inside, or that she would be able to pick out from anything in his showroom. I think it's really cool. When I first seen Dave's video, like, I want to get in this. I want to help. Um, when I seen the flooding, it was devastating. Um, I couldn't imagine going through that. I couldn't imagine living through that and trying to find the right steps to put your life back together. Um, but it sounds like Dave's got a pretty good hand on helping her get her life back together and not changing that little red house on the corner. We've got a trailer full of hardwood flooring and getting to know Penny, I met Leo from across the street who didn't get as bad of water in his house but he got enough to destroy all his floors. I had a knee high on my main floor so it took out a lot of antiques and stuff. When we were uh, all gathered up to watch the house get demoed, Penny's house, um, he came up to me and asked if I could use some hardwood for it. And I'm humbled. I mean, really, I don't know what to say. I... So in talking to him, he, you know, he had replaced the subfloor but couldn't afford to do the hardwood or, or any kind of flooring in there. Um, I've had this hardwood sitting around my warehouse for three years. And I, I said, hey, I got a ton of it. It's just taking up space. Why don't you take it? I'm going to give it to somebody. Might as well give it to Leo. So, oh, if somebody needs some hardwood, great. <laughs> I've got it. I've got it for you. He's a number one guy right now. I mean, yeah, I'm just blown away. I mean, I'm super happy that Penny got 
a new house to come in, she could never redo on her own. So, and then for him to step up that much more, it's humbling. That's all I can say is humbling. So now it can do somebody else some good. As a community, we really do stand strong. So, put that right on there. Oh, you're good to go. You gotta step back sometimes in life and just say, you know, it's it, you got so much going on around yourself. You just gotta kind of pay attention and tune into what's happening around you. It's to help somebody out. It's like my wife said yesterday. You're not going to church, but you're helping somebody. So that's a little bit better. The Wholesale Electric out of Bay City was generous enough to supply all the electrical for us. The panel, the cans, and wire. So our part was throwing in all the labor and wiring the house and getting everything ready. Yeah, I think there's seven cans there, two there, bath pans. Uh, the cans and the bath pans I want you to get on, and then we got a couple of fans to put in. We do all his homes and condos and whatever he does that needs electrical, we take care of. I think it's a great deal. I mean, I, you know, to him to help somebody who needs something, uh, tremendous guy to do that. Uh, it takes, you know, I mean, it, it, it's unbelievable that he would step up and do this and ask his other members on his team, would you be willing to do this? And everybody said yes. I mean, this is, people are in need and we're here to help. This whole project's not just Great Lakes Homes. There's a, just a ton of people behind the scenes that are really um, putting in um, labor, materials, supplies, a lot, of, a lot of stuff. This is a gift to Penny. And that's what it's all about. The, the electrician said he was done. He wouldn't see me for two weeks. So I'm guessing they're gonna do the insulation and the drywall next. Like as quick as that house went down, this one went up, and I mean that quick. And you see how far it's gone. I mean, it's it's not far from being done. <laughs> I'm about ready to get moved in. <laughs> Basically, we do SOS insulation for all of our insulation in all of our homes. Uh, they do a great job. There's usually a combination of insulation that goes into every house. So our bond in the crawl space will all be spray foamed with closed cell foam. And the reason we do that is it, it really seals up that bottom of the house. And then in our walls, we do blown in cellulose, um, which is a hard pack blown in cellulose. So it's a full cavity fill. Um, it's very good for sound deadening and as well as insulation, it's insulation value. Most of our houses, if not all, have an inch of foam on the outside as well. So there's another R5 right there, and that creates a thermal barrier. The night bills will really be small here. <laughs> which is really nice. It's going to be very, very cost effective to heat and cool this house. I would think it's going to be probably around $50 a month, one way or the other, um, whether it's cooling or heating. So we usually soundproof our bathrooms, we soundproof our laundry room, and our common walls with bedrooms. So with this house, that was probably just about every interior wall got soundproofed as well. Midland Drywallers is one of the best around. Um, we use them for all of our drywall as well as our drop ceilings in our houses. Drywall is an art. If anybody's ever tried it, they understand exactly what I what I mean. Um, it's it's something that's learned over time. The the work that they do is very good. You can't lose the red house on the corner there. Everybody knows that house, and it's it has to stay red. I like it. I mean, a lot of people aren't a huge fan of red. I know that, but I like it. I've done a lot of other houses that were this color before, so I'm donating my labor to get the siding done in the house. We only do, um, pretty much only do new construction houses and this is the same stuff we do on all the same houses we do everywhere else. So We tape all the seams and the foam right butts together so that the moisture doesn't get in and then around all the windows for the same reason so that moisture don't get in. That's the difference in between if it looks good or if it doesn't look good is if it's, you know, putting it on properly. There's a lot of, there's, it's like everything, there's a way to do it right and there's a way to do it wrong. Doing it for 20 years and, you know, taking your time and looking at it as you're doing it, taking your time, making sure everything looks straight. I heard about it first on the news and that's why I wanted to be part of it because it was awesome that he's doing it. You know, he has the means to do it and the resources to do it. So we're a small company, so, you know, we can't rebuild somebody's house, but we can side it, doing our part, you know, what we can.
Well, once we get the drywall done and primed, the flooring's going down. We want to get our tile and our LVT down so we can set our cabinets on top of it. Dave reached out to us, asked us to help with some floor covering. We've worked with them for a long time and we we're glad to jump in and do what we could. So we ended up doing all the flooring in the house. They've got the installers that do it right. Um, they stand behind their products and they do have very good products in their showroom. And there's a lot of people that went through hard times and they're going through hard times. And uh, we're just glad we could help out with one and hopefully a lot of other people jump on board and do the same. Yeah, all she'll need is a Swiffer basically and, and so she doesn't have to worry about Bugsy the dog, you know, uh, doing something in there. It's going to be easy enough to clean up because it's all hard surface. It's either luxury vinyl plank in there or tile. It's just been busy. They have been so busy. Well, just the it doesn't last get few done days. if they're not here working, you know, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys must have done a lot. I just have to wonder what's going on in there. Well, you're going to have to wonder <laughs> a little bit longer. Material and labor all donated 100%. More than glad to do it. I think it's a great cause that Dave put together and uh, we're glad he invited us to join. Once we've got our flooring down, um, J&K Carpentry is going to come in and get the house trimmed out so they'll hang all our doors, do all our base molding, case, casement on the doors, and then set cabinets. Um, and then after that, we're ready to start painting. Well, I'm Josh Allen, Joshua Allen. This is Keith Allen. We're with J&K Carpentry. We're doing the carpentry work. Uh, kitchen cabinets, windows, doors, uh, baseboards. I, I really think that a house really starts to take shape when the trim goes in. I mean, until then, it's just walls and door cavities. Um, the trim carpenters and the painters are really what make the houses look as good as they do. And I've known Josh and Keith for years. Um, they recently went out on their own, and we've been using them in a lot of our homes. So J&K Carpentry, um, they can do just about anything. It takes a lot of teamwork, you know, to do something like this, you know, and Dave's kind of the head of it. He's the, you know, Great Lakes is the leader of it, but it puts us in a good position, but it takes, you know, a great team of contractors to come in and do their part. Prep works everything, right? So what they're doing in there right now is they're caulking, spackling, filling all the nail holes. And if you don't do that right, it's, the rest of it's not gonna look very good either. All face paintings doing all of our houses. Um, Mike Callen is uh, a great painter. He's got a very large crew. They can handle multiple builds at a time. But the interesting thing to know about All Phase and Mike Callen is he also lost his house in the flood. Um, he was right up by the Edenville Dam and his house came right off the foundation and went down the river. I can't believe they're here already. I wasn't expecting to see them when I pulled up today. Uh, but you know, some painters can take two, three weeks to do a house where these guys will come in and we'll probably have this pretty much finished by the end of the week other than touch-ups. And there's always going to be some nicks and dings that happen throughout the rest of the build that we have to touch up. We're, we were able to give our labor, you know, and uh, Great Lakes has kind of blessed us as a company. You know, it's been a really big blessing to us being a newer company. And, it, you know, he's given us the ability to give a blessing back, so it's, it's always great for, you know, everybody involved. Just to give back to somebody is awesome, for, especially for us. The furnace is set downstairs. Um, it's just a matter of hooking up gas and getting it running. Answer Heating and Cooling is going to put in the same model and make that we do in all our houses. So every house is different and they'll do a load count on it to make sure that the furnace they're putting in is going to be the right size. The, the AC unit we're putting in is going to cool the home. We're, regardless of the size furnace or the size AC unit we put in, they're going to be the, that same quality. It just might be a smaller unit, that's all. So it'll still be a two-stage furnace in here. Um, and what that gives you is you basically don't have to burn both burners all the time. A lot of furnaces just go full blast until you reach heat. But when your house is only trying to gain a degree, there's no sense burning all that gas. It runs at a lower level and it's more energy efficient that way. A small house like this, we've got the crawl space too, and we're gonna make sure that's all conditioned air. So you're not over cold air down there. Um, that's all gonna be conditioned as well, insulated down there. Um, and you won't ever have to worry about anything freezing, pipes or anything like that, like you have to on some crawl spaces. I just think about what it's gonna look like and I just can't wait <laughs> to get in there. It's been 127 days from the flood today. It's been 14 weeks since we came up with the idea to ask Dave, 13 weeks since we surprised Penny, and Dave never missed a beat. Oh, oh. hello. Penny, how are you? How are you doing? Okay, so now we're gonna find the moment of truth. I love it. You haven't seen the oh, landscape? No. Huh? 
Yeah. I have been a sample for nine days. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> I haven't. So you haven't, haven't had a peek in the windows at, or oh, anything? No. Oh, All right. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, well, yes. Well, you don't need it to get in, but here's your keys. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. All right. All right. You guys are already all my oh. Any Tyler's resin. There you oh. go. Oh, look at that. Yep, so you're good. Oh, and we, we got you a few glasses and oh. can coolers Boy. for sitting on the front porch. Well, yes. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Oh, just to be able to get some normal life back. Yeah, my, my life is just seems like it's just been scrambled. The inside represents a lot of different people coming together from lots of different backgrounds. We got financial contributions from um, many, many different people. Some people that don't even actually live in Michigan sent money in when they found out about what was happening um, with uh, Penny. So um, it represents hope and togetherness and unity is basically what, what this house represents for us. My grandkids. That is Adriana and Brian. They're my babies. That 310. <laughs> Look what he did with it. I knew he would do something special with it. And it that is awesome. Look at my house in the background. <sighs> that is so perfect. The red house on the corner is back. There was a lot of people happy for me and, and they're here today. And uh, I love it, um, yeah. I'm glad they wanted to come and see the house. You know, they've been waiting just like I am. It's Great Lakes Homes, you know. I mean, there's a difference. A house is a house. When you drive by, you say, there's somebody's house. But we like to think about we're building somebody's home where they're gonna live and, and spend the foreseeable part of their future. Um, so there's a difference between just a house. Um, Great Lakes, we like to put people in their dream home. I don't know how to how a person accepts a gift this large, but it, it's like I, I feel like wow, they went way way beyond you know the call of duty on that. But even when we were picturing what the house would look like, none of us really could have fathomed that it was going to be this beautiful. And he took so many little special touches for her, and he said that he'd have her in by the time the weather turned cold and the leaves were falling from the trees. And you know, we hear that, right, from vendors and from builders all the time, but the leaves are falling from the trees. And she's moving in tonight. I never would imagine that one person could make such a huge difference for another person, and Dave Dennis really did that. He's got such a kind heart. It feels like home.